These days, professional wrestling, everybody wants to see something real. So how about we do this, Dreamwave? Let's pull the curtain back a little bit, and I will show you and I will tell you something real about Christian Rose. The real Christian Rose drives a piece of junk car. The real Christian Rose lives in a tiny apartment because of all the sacrifices that I've made for pro wrestling on my own. I don't have much, but everything I have, I've gotten on my own. I've never had anyone's support since day one. My family doesn't support me. My friends don't back me up. And only in the past few months, for reasons that I can't explain, have the people of LaSalle decided that they're going to show me some love. Well, recently, they announced that it's myself and Prince Ali, July 13th. This is a match that I really hoped was going to happen under better circumstances, but it's not. It's happening because even Dreamwave itself, JC Castilli in particular, doesn't support me. No matter what I do, doesn't support me. So now he's going to try to make me suffer at the hands of Prince Ali. What you don't realize, though, is that Prince Ali is the reason I'm there. What you don't realize is that three-fourths of the Dreamwave roster hates my guts because of the success that I've had in that company. I earned everything that I've gotten in Dreamwave, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I've walked over a lot of people to get to the top of that place. I made myself go from a second-rate throw-on act to a main event star. And everybody wants to complain about it. Everybody's jealous because I get a microphone every show. I take the microphone. Furthermore, maybe it's because I'm the only person who has something to say. And now there's Prince Ali. Prince Ali, I used to respect you. But you've become a sad, sad parody of yourself. You are a caricature of what was once a great idea. You surround yourself with this hopping stereotype Sea Red because he's the only person who buys into everything that you spew. You want something real? I've done more in 18 months, Ali, than you did in four years with a warehouse full of tables, ladders, and chairs. People watch me for the same reason they watch a horror movie. They know they're going to see something terrible, but there's a moral to the end of the story. People watch you for the same reason they watch car races. They don't care who wins or loses. They're just waiting for a crash. So on July 13th, everyone wants this big, epic war, this big showdown, two trains heading into each other, myself and Prince Ali. And that's what you're going to get. I'm going to show you violence. I'm going to show you pain. I'm going to show you what it's like to hurt. I'm going to show you something real.